YouTube, Edgar here, and welcome to Artifexy, and here you will learn everything you ever wanted to know about world building, and then some. Let's say you want to create your own planetary system. How do you do it? Where do you start? What are the rules? So many questions, but don't worry, it will all become clear. If you want to build a planetary system, the first and most important step is to build a star, which coincidentally I've already done in a previous video. Links will be on screen and in the description and you really should check it out before proceeding otherwise things might get a bit confusing. Hey, welcome back. So now we've built our star, let's go ahead and place it on our little map here. Step 1, complete. Next up I have to determine my system's inner and outer boundaries. Too close to the star and the planet will be torn apart by its gravitational force. Too far out and the star's gravity will not be strong enough to hold the planet in orbit. With that in mind, here are two useful equations to help determine these boundaries. The inner limit is given by the equation I, inner, is equal to 0.1 times m, where m is the mass of the star, which in this case is 1.2. And the outer limit is given by the equation O is equal to 40 times m. So after a bit of intense number crunching, we find that the closest a planet can be to our star is 0.12 AU, and the furthest out it can be is 48 AU. That said, a better way of determining the inner limit of a planetary system would be to use Roche's limit. It's a bit complicated to explain in this video, and I'll probably make a supplementary video on Roche's limit soon. Oh, and in case anyone's unclear, AU means astronomical unit. 1 AU is simply the distance from the Earth to the Sun. It works out to be just shy of 150 million kilometers. So let's go ahead and put the inner and outer boundaries in on our map here. Great! Step 2 complete. Now let's find the frost line. Its location in AU will be given by R is equal to 4.8 times the square root of L. Here L is the luminosity of our star which we have already set at 2.07. Again, crunch the numbers and we get a frost line at 6.98 AU, which I will put roughly here. Next up, our largest gas giant will form close to, but not on the frost line. 1 to 1.2 AU away from the frost line is perfect. So let's say my system's largest gas giant orbits at 7.98 AU. Now it's time to stick in any pre-designed worlds. My world needs to orbit at 1.44, so that will go right about here. The green band here represents the habitable zone of my system. All we need to do now is start filling up the empty space with stable orbits. Orbits tend to be logarithmically spaced and are usually arranged so that the ratio between adjacent orbits fall between 1.4 and 2. Granted, this all sounds a little complicated but trust me it isn't. Here's how it works. Starting at our gas giant, we simply multiply its distance from our star by a number anywhere between 1.4 and 2. And hey presto, we have the next stable orbit out from our star. Repeat this for each orbit until we reach our system's outer boundary, then stop. Next step is to start again at our gas giant, but this time work inward and instead of multiplying, simply divide. Like before, we continue until we reach the inner limit of our system, then stop. Once I placed all the orbits, I checked to make sure no two orbits are within 0.15 AU of each other. Why? Because any closer and the orbits will be gravitationally unstable and will decay over time. So that's essentially our system built. Note, however, that I've left all the orbits blank. I'll fill them in later when I cover planets, moons, asteroid belts, etc. Guys, check the description for links to my Facebook and Twitter, but more importantly, like and subscribe right here on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching. Edgar out. Bit of a disclaimer here. As the title card said, this is a video on how to build a classical solar system-like planetary system. Recently though, we've realized that our solar system isn't the only type of system out there. I'll be covering the other types of planetary system in upcoming videos. Also, most of the formulas used here have been taken and adapted from GURPS role playing guide. It's definitely worth buying as there's several chapters dedicated to space world building. Links will be in the description below. Later guys, Edgar out.